This is Adam Reese, and this video demonstrates the basic steps I use to create my polymer clay sculptures. I consider this otter to be a medium sized piece. First, I cover the metal form in a layer of base clay. I usually use Sculpey Original mixed with scrap clay from previous pieces. The scrap adds color, which makes imperfections such as indents easier to see, and this helps ensure that I achieve a smooth surface. Sculpey Original is quite soft, unlike Primo and Fimo. These brands are firmer and better for cane making. I try for about a quarter inch thickness over the entire form. This may require additional clay to fill in any divots and indents. At this stage the piece is uniformly covered and ready to be fired for the first time. Now comes the most creative part, where I decide what kind of design or pattern the piece will have. This particular otter is decorated with lines of cane work parallel to the length of the body. This kind of pattern looks good on longer bodied animals. At this point, the otter is about halfway covered in canes. I still need to do some work on the face and paws. As you can see, there are gaps in between the canes at this stage. These gaps will be closed by rolling the entire piece with a glass rod prior to the final firing. Also, prior to the final firing, the smudgy top surface needs to be sliced off to reveal the crisp, clear cane slices underneath and to do the final shaping and smoothing. This is a pretty crucial stage to the look and quality of the finished product. Here I'm doing some detailed carving on the face and some of the more fine carving work. Now I begin the sanding process. I go through about four series of sandpapers, usually starting with about 400, moving up to 1,000, and finishing off with a rough cloth for buffing. This is the finished piece. It's been covered in a base layer of clay, fired for the first time, covered in canes, finely sculpted, fired for the second time, then sanded and polished. A lot of work, but worth the effort. I hope this helps demystify my sculpting process.